ever since Bedrock Edition became a thing, there has been one feature that many people have been requesting for many many years. It is the ability of going back to old versions. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a launcher that I've been using for many years on Bedrock Edition that lets you go to any version of Windows 10 that you want. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you! We're going to be using a program called the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher created by Cargem and it's completely safe completely free and you have no risk of losing any of your world which is the best part about this. I do recommend backing them up anyway just to be on the safe side. To download the launcher just simply go down to the description which you will find a link to the website. Just go down to download and then it should start to appear in your downloads. And once it's done downloading go ahead and click on open file and then it'll give you a prompt click on yes and then you get yourself the setup wizard. Go ahead and choose the language that you prefer. I'll choose English, next, and then click next again, and then click I accept the license, then click next again. Then you can choose what you want to download, you want the beta version or the release version. Just click next on the one that you want, and then after that go ahead and choose the destination folder. I prefer to leave it exactly the way it is. Make sure you keep register program activated, and then choose if you want a desktop icon or a start menu, then click install. Since I already got the program installed. I don't have to worry about stalling it again. And here we are within the launcher. Now I'd also like to mention that you need to own Minecraft Windows 10 first. You cannot simply download the launcher and then hope to get free Minecraft. It doesn't work that way. Now once you're ready to downgrade your Minecraft version, go over to installations and then click on new installation. For me, I already have a bunch of installations because I've been using the program for quite a while. But I'm going to click on new installation. I'm going to call this oldie. And we can now choose between all the different versions of the Windows 10 edition, including the betas. Now the best part about this is you do not need to be in the beta program in order to use the beta versions. Those versions will work straight out of the gate, which is a really really cool thing. So we're going to choose 0.14.0.1 and we're going to click create. Then our profile has been created. If you click on this folder button, this will take you to where the directory is. So right here where it says package data, everything regarding that profile will be saved in here. So I'm going to click play and it should start to download that version. And here we are in 0.14. How many of you remember this version of the game? I definitely remember when it came out back in 2015 I believe it was. That was like 7 years ago. And where's the time gone? But I'm gonna click play, create new world, and then create world. And look how quick the world to load in back then. But I guess there's less things for the game to load in back then compared to today. Man, look at these old menus. Definitely, definitely nostalgic. For some reason, I keep on getting this very weird bug where it keeps making me jump. Like I have no idea what's called in that. Going back to the directory, this is where, as I mentioned, all of your worlds will be saved. So we're right inside the Minecraft Worlds folder, we have the world that we just created up. Now if you're wondering about all of your old worlds and your data, all of that is perfectly safe. That hasn't been deleted, it's just been moved to another location. And let me show you that right now. If you look in the description, you will find this directory. And you're going to need to find Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. If you have the preview installed, you will also find Minecraft Windows Beta. But this is the one that you want. Go ahead and click on there. And then go down to local state, go down to games, and on the side there you'll find combat mojing and combat mojing default. This is where all of your old stuff will be saved to. So you find your worlds, your research packs, and even your behavior packs. But before you download the launcher, I do recommend that you back up your saves, your behavior packs, or research packs, so that way you are sure that they will not be removed. Now let's say you want to find all of your profiles. Well, you can just simply type in percent app data percent press enter and then it'll take you to this directory. In this side of here, if you have Minecraft Java installed, you will find your .minecraft folder. If you play Java regularly, then this shouldn't be new to you. But down below that, you'll find .minecraft underscore bedrock. Click on there, you'll find your installations, your versions. Inside installations, you'll find your user folder. Click on there and then you'll find all of your profiles that you have created from within the launcher. And inside each one of these, you will find all of your data safely inside. So all of your stuff will be completely separated from one another, which is really, really cool. Way back in 1.16.200, they added Render Dragon to Windows 10. Well, let's say you want to use a version of Minecraft without Render Dragon. Well, we're going to go back to 1.16.100, because this was the last version before Render Dragon took over. So let's click play, 
and let's go back to this old version of the game. And here we are in 1.16.100. Since we're on a version without Render Dragon, we're able to use any shader that we want. So I'm going to download the shader that I have absolutely loved for years, and that is ESPE 3G. Now there's also ESPE 2G, which was the previous version of the shaders, but however this one, originally it did work for iOS and Android, but since iOS and Android did get Render Dragon, this doesn't work for that. No shader does, which is a very, very big disappointment. We have our shader downloaded, and I'm going to open the file. Next up is to go down to the edit button, go down to research packs, my packs, and I'm going to apply it from there. And here we are inside the world, and look at this. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is just so amazing. We got shaders on this version of the game. Now the one thing I loved about the shaders was the sky at night. Look how beautiful that is. We get these streaks of light. Like the auroras are just absolutely beautiful. And they're also animated a little bit, which is a really cool thing. Oh, look at that village. That is just so beautiful. But if you ever wanted to use shaders on Windows 10 again, well now is going to be the perfect opportunity. And that is how you can downgrade your Minecraft version to pretty much any Windows 10 version that you want. If you're playing on iOS or Android, there is no way that you can really go back in time unless you download like an APK, which in that scenario, I do not recommend doing unless you absolutely want to go back in time. Then in that case, it's perfectly up to you. Maybe someday there'll be an app on iOS and Android that lets you go back to previous versions. Now that'd be fairly cool. But with that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts below in the comments on what you think of all of this. And if you do want to get this launcher, there will be a link down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.